OT term for this, and what we always say is that you need proximal stability before you can have distal mobility. So what that basically means is proximal is closer by, and then okay. distal is, is as you go farther out within oh, your so hand, like, right? I would think about so, it as distance, yes. <laughs> yeah, distance. It's the proximity, yeah. And, yeah. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Absolutely, it's the same thing. So your hands do not have the freedom to move. Your wrists do not have the freedom to move if you are not strong and supported through your core. Mm, so... Mm -hmm. This goes all the way back to developmentally. You know, kids crawl, right. really, and that mm -hmm. is so important because when they're crawling, they're getting so much strength through their shoulders, through their scapulas or their shoulder right. blades. They're getting it, you know, all of and all the way down into their core of how mm -hmm. you can hold and support yourself. So this, wow. that stability mm -hmm. later on prepares for your writing. So without it, mm -hmm. um, you're pretty much, you're not going to have the freedom of movement within your wrists and your hands. So one of the very, very first things that I talk about with families, and I actually think I have it on the next slide. Yeah. Um, with families is if your kid is having a hard time using their hands or you don't think that they have enough freedom for fine motor skills, mm -hmm. stop for a hot second, back up and focus right. more on the core and your shoulder strengths. And even your, you know, all the way down to your forearms, your biceps, work your way out. Um, yeah. And so what what can this look like? Um, mm -hmm. For little, little, little guys, it's tummy time. Um, yeah. And then as they get older, it's still, let's do some things on your stomach. You know, we can, you can do a puzzle laying on your stomach the same way that you could do Definitely. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you can laying over or putting a pillow there if you don't want to, but laying over top of that. Mm -hmm. um, you can do the um, scooter boards, you know, those square scooter boards. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, my goodness. My kids love that. We put it, we have, <laughs> we have hardwood floors. And uh -huh. so I would put one on one end and <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> my two-year-old and my four-year-old bowl with each other like oh, put yeah. each other down and down, yes. oh. some things better you know, my boys used to I, roll each other down the stairs in yeah, sleeping okay. bags until you know they same thing finger. yeah <laughs> same thing. Um, <laughs> but they're also walking they're using their hands to pull their bodies and so that is going to build right. that, that same um shoulder and core stability um Anything, even on inside lying, you know, if you're propped up on one elbow, that's that same stability through oh, one yeah. elbow, and then you've uh -huh. got that mobility with mm -hmm. the other hand. Um, climbing outside, I, mm -hmm. I love, love, love the freedom of homeschooling so that we can be outside. Um, mm -hmm. Now in this time, it's a little bit different, although uh, there are, you know, my state itself has closed down most of our playgrounds and trails and things, but right. um, being out in your own backyard, if that's available, or mm -hmm. um, within the woods, I mean, it, you're going to be six feet away from sick people out there, right? right? Exactly. Find a tree, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> until they say we can't do that, please right. go outside and mm -hmm. climb around and move. Um, obstacle courses are the same thing, even within our homes. Um, oh, yeah, my kids used to make them out of every piece of furniture we had. And you know, yeah, questions off, okay, you have to jump over this one and do this. That is an all day activity if yep. you have kids in the house. <laughs> yeah, take those couch cushions, fly over them, tumble, yep, do whatever, exactly. then build your fort with them when you're done and relax mm -hmm. and watch a movie after, you know, right. after you have done yeah. a physical thing. And then you can say, hey, I was working on handwriting today. Uh -huh, exactly. <laughs> you know, you know. Um, and then you can see my boys down here. These are I have um, I have four kiddos. Um, my oldest is eleven, and then I have an eight-year-old. And then these are they are both now four. Um, they're three months apart. I have one kiddo here full time, and then one we do a foster care respite with. So I've got them oh, part time. Awesome. So these this is them playing um, with their arms up here, you know, so right. are reaching to their heads for those of you that can't see it. Um, mm -hmm. And that is going to give the same stability throughout your shoulder and your um, scapular. We call it the shoulder girdle. So through that whole space oh, yeah. um, to help to build that proximal stability to give mm -hmm. that distal mobility later on. Um, chores, washing windows. <laughs> Um, ah. you know, this, is, this is my shout out. I like the karate kid, the wax right. on, wax off. Wax on, on, wax off. Absolutely. <laughs> Do it. Yes. Wax on and wax off. It is perfect. 
um, wash those windows. You know, we um, I do a lot of writing with my kids on windows with whiteboard markers because you can wash that right off the same way um, oh, yeah. or painting on an easel, anything like that. Um, you know, if you can pin anything up on a wall, even if you're doing pin the tail on the donkey for a little bit, you know, mm -hmm. something that's up, up high, anything that is not where you are looking down and your hands are down here, that's gonna work on that core stability in your shoulder girdle.